Operating Linux can be a trial and failure procedure. Um, it's like driving. You learn with somebody's else car. Or in this case, you can be safe by using a virtual box, and on this video I'll show you how to use it with the convenience of your host terminal. Your host can be anything, even a stupid Ubuntu, but it's strongly recommended to learn Linux on Arch. So, install VirtualBox from your distribution repositories and let's do this, alright? We are on Arch Linux official page. Go to Downloads. Select a mirror close to you. And download the live ISO, it's around 1 gigabyte. Open VirtualBox. And create a new machine. Give it some name. Pick the image you downloaded before. And hit next. Add a bit more memory if you have, and some extra cores. And enable the EFI, since that's more likely to have on an actual installation. Give it some more space. Something like 20 gigs should do fine. It allocates only what uses anyway, and additionally you can resize it later if needed. Next, and finish. Very important, go to settings. And network. Set it to bridged adapter so the guest will work on the same network as your host. And start. That black borders? I'm not sure why are those, either something with Mesa or Shell? Doesn't happen on Wayland, though. Need to open a bug, but I'm just too lazy. Okay, now just check that SSH daemon is running. System control, status, SSHD. It should be working by default. Next, you want to set a root password, otherwise you won't be able to log in remotely, I think. Um. Third, you want to check on your IP address. It's 192.168.16. So next you can open a terminal and connect to Arch Linux's root. SSH. Root. At 192.168.16. Yes. Your password. And now you can work on VirtualBox, but from the host terminal, which is much more convenient than working directly on VBox. So you can try an installation or whatever. Another thing is, if you're working like that, you may get some errors with the SSH keys. In this case, you can generate new ones. SSH key gen R and the IP of the guest.